Lubricate and install the first O-ring into the inside of the bellows sleeve. Next, slide the bellows onto the bellows sleeve and snap it into place. Lubricate and install the second O-ring into the bellows sleeve. Then apply a medium strength thread sealer to the outside threads of the bellows sleeve and install the bellows nut. Torque the bellows nut between 25 and 30 foot-pounds. Insert the bellows assembly over the piston rod and into the bellows chamber. Lubricate and install the bellows o-ring. Apply lubricant to the backup seal and install the seal into the top plate. Be sure the seal seats fully and use a press if necessary. Then install the bearing housing and bearing, securing them with the retaining washer and ring. Install the top plate assembly over the bellows assembly by aligning the shape of the bellows sleeve and the backup seal. The position of the top plate assembly is relative to the location requirement of the inlet and the outlet connections and can be rotated up to 360 degrees. Apply a medium strength thread sealer to the cap screws and install all four cap screws with lock washers. Tighten the screws uniformly and torque. Lubricate the side manifold seals and then install the side manifold. Using clamps, secure the side manifold to the bellows chamber and inlet check manifold. Tighten and torque the clamps to 15 to 20 foot-pounds. Apply a medium strength thread sealer to the retaining collar screws. Install the retaining collar 
Then tighten and torque the screws between 18 and 22 inch pounds. If the breather valve is still installed, remove and inspect. If necessary, replace the breather valve. Apply thread sealant and install the breather valve. The valve must be installed so that it remains vertical.